Hi guys, this is Travis from Scroll Saw Goodies. Welcome back as we continue working on our dog portrait. Uh, this is where we left off from last time and uh, we were working on these uh, on the eye over here and, um, and uh, some of the detail up and around here. So let's go ahead and dig right in and we're going to jump over to this ear and see if we can't get all of this uh, more or less taken care of. So. I'm going to take my zoom tool, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, stretch that out, and um, let's go ahead and take a look at our original picture and kind of bounce back and forth here, uh, just so we can see where we left off and where we need to concentrate a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and grab our paintbrush once again and uh, I'm going to zoom in once more. I like to work at 200%. It kind of gives me a little bit better control. And uh, I'm going to just start uh, working on some of these areas. So remember once again that uh, we were working on uh, this layer over here, uh, the layer one copy two. And uh, layer one copy is actually our photograph, uh, which we use for reference. You'll see me kind of bounce back and forth between the original photograph and my drawing layer. So let's go ahead and start uh, working on some of these. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of just start cleaning up some of this, uh, these dark areas. And uh, I want to be able to create some of these areas that uh, have a fair amount of uh, cuts involved and um, just so it looks like we're actually scroll saw artists instead of just uh, people who uh, have just a blank canvas. So let's look at our original picture. Obviously we have some really dark areas up in through here. So let's go ahead and extend that up and it looks like the ear is relatively smooth. There's not a whole lot of fur. So I think what we could do is we'll just uh, switch to the white. I'm going to grab a bigger brush, maybe a number 13, and I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up. I'm going to hold down the shift key and uh, more or less do that dot to dot technique. I uh, told you about in the last few episodes. Let's move that over just a tish. And let's clean all this stuff up because we don't really need any of that. Because if you look on the picture here, you can kind of see this dark um, outline, I guess, uh, which works really well for us. And uh, so that's kind of what we're defining there. And we're just going to go ahead and get rid of all this extra stuff because we don't need it. Okay, let's switch back to our black. And select the number five brush. And I think I'm going to make this entire area right in through here. I think I'm going to make that a solid cutout. So I'm going to zoom in to 200% so I have a little bit better control. And I'm going to just fill in this entire area. Okay. That way we have some nice deep shadows that uh, we could be playing with. Because it's always nice to see large areas that are cut out. Okay. Now we have this area here. Let's go ahead and define that area a bit. Let's go ahead and clean up some of this. And I like to make sure we keep nice sharp edges. Uh, you'll see some of these areas that uh, a little bit more gray tone. I like to make them either black or white. Get rid of all those gray tones. In fact, we'll just go ahead and connect this up. And 
And remember the number five brush is about the width of a kerf of a, of maybe like a, a spiral blade. So it's kind of a good gauge uh, when you're looking at some of these uh, lines to know exactly how wide that really is. So kind of keep that in mind. Now let's see here. There's this section here. I think probably could be connected here. And quite honestly, it could maybe go up into this area. Just as easy. So we'll just kind of pop back and forth between our original photo. Like I said in uh, the previous episodes, uh, it really is just kind of a judgment call, you know. Um, there's going to be times when you're making things up. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, it's all about artist interpretation. Okay, so let's just bounce back, just see how we're looking. looks pretty good I think let's uh let's add a few more shadows up in and around that area so let's bounce or zoom into that area I'm up to 200 percent okay I lost my place here where are we messing with kind of in this area over here so let's let's go ahead and darken in this area here. Connect this all. Getting rid of a lot of those gray tones, making them either black or white. And I've said in the previous uh, episodes is that. Uh, Unless I have to thread that uh, saw blade through tiny little holes, the better. So I like to try to connect everything. Now right here you see we have a floaty. It's an island. You cut that out, you're just going to have a blank piece. And that's, that's not going to work for us. So we need to connect that. We need to bridge it to another part. And... You know what? Maybe, maybe I'll make these two separate pieces. Because even though I don't like threading the blade through all these holes, it is necessary at times to uh, create a completely new section. Okay. Let's bounce back to a hundred percent and I think it was this area here I kind of wanted to um, uh, darken up a bit so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of remove some of this stuff here maybe smooth this out a little bit and maybe make it something along those lines let's zoom in a bit so we have a little bit easier time coloring these in and let's kind of thicken this area up over here a little bit because we just kind of want heavier shadows I think see now we're kind of getting somewhere I think the little widow's peak up here needs a little bit more definition. So let's go ahead and zoom it. Whoa, that's getting a little carried away there. Okay, I Th think it's this area here. Let's zoom it out a little bit. And let's see here. Even though I kind of like this spot, I think it's just a little bit too much. Let's bring this thing down a little like this. 
and uh, let's see how that looks. See, that's starting to kind of define that section there a little bit better. So let's go ahead and continue working on this ear, uh, especially down in and around this area. So let's go ahead and start zooming in and see what we could figure out. I'm going to go with a larger brush because we have a lot of this extra stuff that we no longer need. And we'll get all rid of all this garbage as well as up and through here. Let's get, because he's got kind of a floppy ear. I'm going to give this a little bit more definition so you can kind of see where that the ear just kind of flops over. Okay, so let's zoom into this area a little bit and let's start working on the tip of the ear. Let's choose a better size brush and um, I'm just going to go ahead and start just kind of roughing something in. Something like that I think. This will come down just a tish. Let's go ahead and fill those in and darken this up. Okay. Now this is the line, this is kind of the contour of his ear, but uh, you know we don't have to see all of the contour so we're going to have to make a few sections where uh, you don't see any of it at all. So uh, let's, let's zoom out just a tish and let's take a look at this. Now up here there is a little bit of a outline but you can kind of see this this white area right here and so let's gonna let's go ahead and open this up just a just a little bit so I'm gonna bring this thing out and we really could just afford to more or less get rid of all of this stuff and let's look down here a little bit. I think what I might do is connect these two because that would be one less one less uh, blade to thread. So let's go ahead and zoom in there and let's go ahead and connect these two. Get a smaller uh, smaller brush size. And that'll just kind of make our life a little bit easier there. Let's go ahead and bring this to a point on this end. And let's kind of give this outline just a little bit of character and feather it off to a point to just kind of uh, hint to the fact that uh, that line continues on. And I'm going to go ahead and just make that a little bit thicker and just kind of feather this tip here as well. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit. Yeah, see that ear is starting to kind of take shape a little bit. Okay, let's kind of concentrate down here a little bit. This is kind of a nice dark area. Uh, this area is going to probably connect right here. Uh, I'm going to kind of keep an eye on that because um, we could run into problems with uh, islands. We certainly don't want any islands or any floating sections. So we'll just kind of make a mental note to keep an eye on that section because it could get a little hairy over here. 
And let's clean up this gray area. <coughs> now, as I'm showing you this, I'd like to note that, you know, there's really hundreds of ways to make a pattern. This is, just happens to be one of them. Uh, it's not necessarily the way I normally go about it, but if I'm working with a difficult picture, uh, sometimes I'll run it through some filters uh, just to kind of give me a jumping off point. And then I do exactly what I'm showing you here, just kind of manipulating uh, those shadows and um, trying to come up with uh, something that uh, works for both uh, me as a scroller as well as uh, works technically uh, for a pattern. Now there are some people, I'm not one of them, but there are some people that are really good at just uh, running these, thing, these uh, pictures through a series of filters in their paint programs and they're able to come up with really just amazing uh, patterns. Uh, I find that a little too fiddly for me. I'll probably create a episode where we could kind of talk about that but I find it a little fiddly and I find a little bit more satisfaction just kind of going in there and more or less painting my pattern as opposed to relying on filters. Um, but there's certainly something to be said for uh, those people who are able to create those patterns with filters. Okay, uh, right here we have this crazy shape that's really only connected with this little bit here. Uh, that's going to probably cause us some problems and uh, so we probably should bridge it. This is probably the most likely spot here. So we'll go ahead and bridge it. Um, it would be kind of nice if we had a third part to bridge. I don't know, maybe we could either bring it in through here. In fact, I'm thinking that might be a good way to bridge it. Or you could have brought it straight up, but since we have this dark, big, black, dark area, uh, it might look a little weird and uh, it'd take quite a bit of fiddling just to make it look right. So I don't know. I think I think we're starting to kind of get where we need to be. Um, I think this area right in through here. I think we're just gonna need to darken that up a bit because you're not really seeing enough detail in the ear uh, to really give it much form. So I'm gonna just. fill all of this area in here and see if we can't just give it a little bit more definition. We'll clear that area out. And you know what? Let's just get rid of this thing here. It was a neat idea, but uh, I don't think it's going to work for us. So let's go ahead and take a look at the original. Uh, not quite there yet. I think what we might do is create a little section in through here. Let's just connect all that. So let's zoom that in. <coughs> now when I'm doing this, you know, I'm making all these decisions and uh, if you're brand new to pattern making, uh, you see me make these decisions on the fly and it, it, it could kind of seem a little intimidating. Uh, just like scrolling, it, you're not going to be perfect right out of the gate. In fact, uh, every time I do one of these portrait patterns, I learn something new and uh, it just takes a lot of 
just a lot of fiddling and playing around and trying different things you know you're not gonna it, it takes practice like anything else so even if your first try isn't the success you were looking for uh, keep going here, let's go up here because there was a great opportunity here to indicate a highlight uh, kind of a structure of the ear and it's this section right here is what I'm talking about there we go now let's go ahead and uh, since this is kind of like the edge of the ear there there's a little there's like a little piece of cartilage that kinda runs along this area so I'm gonna kinda hint to the fact that this line continues on let's go ahead and okay and then I'm gonna just kinda sharpen that up a bit maybe give a little bit of interest over here there we go and let's simplify this section right here oops let's control Z that out so we're just gonna go ahead and simplify some of these areas sometimes you could get a little carried away with details I I'm especially prone to that and sometimes you're just gonna have to step back and remove a little bit of that detail okay so she looks like she's coming along pretty well I'm gonna kind of uh, reduce this area a bit give it a little bit more structure let's go ahead and pop that off Yeah, let's go ahead and thicken that area up. And let's thicken up this black area here. I'm kind of... Uh, see, now I'm starting to like that. Let's, let's uh, concentrate over here, kind of right along the where the brow meets the ear. I think it just needs a little bit of simplification there. Especially right there. I don't think we need that uh, peninsula nearly as drastic as it is. So let's go ahead and pull that out. And let's zoom out, take a look. And let's simplify this section right up here. And we'll just kind of just kind of simplify it, make it a little bit more bold. Let's get rid of that nib. That'd be a nightmare to cut anyway. Okay. Boy, that peninsula is just still too much. So, let's just cut her out. Just like that. And then we have a little bit of complexity over in this area. So, let's take off that section. there we go you know I'm pretty happy with that section it looks like we're about 25 minutes in uh, so let's go ahead and maybe just work a little bit over here on the uh, side of his face uh, kinda by his eye and uh, a little bit below and then uh, maybe one of the other podcasts we'll just go ahead and pick up where we left off 
and uh, go from there. So I'm going to grab a larger brush. I'm grabbing a 13. And if you look on the deal here, it more or less follows this contour right here. So we could get rid of all of that. I'm going to grab a little bit larger brush. Okay. Okay, now let's look over here at his brow. Okay, we don't need as much over here. So let's go ahead and zoom in. We'll just grab a our number five again. And we'll just kind of give it a little bit of character over here because I don't want it absolutely smooth, especially since he does have a lot of hair poking out. Oops, I don't know if I wanted to do it quite that extreme. And it kind of looks like it kind of comes up and through here anyway. So let's go ahead and put a little bit back in. Okay. And then we'll kind of thicken up some of these areas. Uh, we could probably bridge right here. I think that's probably a good spot. And then um, we'll have a little bit of an outline over here. Whoops, let's get the white. So let's go ahead and get some of these areas here. Yeah, I like that. So, go ahead and fill in some of these spots. Give it a little bit better bite here. remove some of these some of these areas here and let's bridge this out whoops let's go back to the brush ended up pushing the wrong button there okay I think I think we're getting to the point where you end up turning on your MP3 player so you don't have to listen to me all the time. But every once in a while I'm able to give out a nugget of information, but really the easiest way to learn is just kind of watching people do it, you know. Even if you don't even have the sound on, you could just kind of watch another artist uh, work, really no matter what medium and uh, you can learn quite a bit just by watching. Okay, I think we're gonna... I think we'll probably fiddle around with that a little bit more in, a, in the next episode. This area just sticks out too much. I don't like that, so out it goes. We'll fill this area in instead. And uh, maybe kind of thicken this area up just a tish. Let's get rid of all this garbage. Let's get a bigger brush. Okay. Let's go ahead and zoom back out. And that's kind of where we're left with. 
And I think we're kind of off to a pretty good start. We more or less have the eyes and the uh, left side of his face done. And uh, so we'll pick it up in the next podcast and uh, we'll continue on. Uh, Until next time, uh, happy scrolling.